Hi everybody, welcome to Social Studies. I am sorry I ran behind yesterday. Let's get into our lesson. Our lesson today is titled, Colonists Start Fighting the British. Let's review what has led to this. Review from past lessons. In the 1700s, Britain needed money. So the British Parliament started taxing things that the colonists use. The British Parliament taxed things like paper, sugar, and tea. The colonists began to protest. So the colonists didn't like that the British were taxing them. The colonists began protesting against the taxes. Britain sent soldiers to control the colonies. So protesting means going out into the streets saying, no, we're not going to do it. Have you noticed that there are protests right now happening in our country? There are protests about a black man that was killed in Minnesota by a white police officer. Very, very sad stuff. But protests happen all the time, even right now. The Boston Massacre. In 1770, more than 50 colonists gathered to protest. They threw, sorry, they threw rocks and snowballs at the British soldiers who were there, right? The soldiers shot at the group and killed five colonists. Oh my heavens. The Boston Tea Party. In December of 1773, a British company had three ships full of tea in Boston Harbor. Tea is in boxes, remember? It's not like teacups. It's tea is loose leaves inside of boxes. A group of colonists went onto the ships and threw all the tea boxes into the water, right? So that made Britain very mad. Tensions rise. The British Parliament became very angry and closed Boston Harbor so no ships could go in or out. A group of leaders from the colonies met together in 1774. So people from the colonies met in 1774 in Pennsylvania. That's one of the colonies. This group is called the Continental Congress. These leaders said the colonies should make their own laws. They don't want Britain. They want to be in charge of themselves. They said if Britain used force, like if Britain is going to shoot at us, the colonists would fight back. Oh my goodness. So if you're going to shoot me, I'm going to shoot you. Fighting begins. The colonists and British began fighting. The Continental Congress met again. And they declared that the colonists want to become independent from Britain. So what does that mean? Right now, the colonists are under British control. And they feel like, like Britain is tying them up, making all these laws they don't want. They want to be free. They want to be independent. They want to be the United States, not part of Britain. So they want to take away British control. On July 4th, 1776, Congress approved the Declaration of Independence. Declaration means... I'm telling everybody I'm independent. I don't want to be part of Britain. I'm done with Britain. I don't like how the British want to control us. So they want to be independent, free, not controlled by the British. So July 4th is a big date in the United States. July 4th is an important holiday in the United States. July 4th is called Independence Day in the United States. It is an important holiday that celebrates the day the colonists decided to become independent from Britain. Now, I want to tell you something. See how they were fighting? That fighting lasted eight years. 
Here, they just said we want to be independent. But they didn't just say, okay, well, you're independent. We're going to let you go now. Bye, colonists. No, there was fighting for eight years until the United States became a free country. So July 4th is Independence Day in the United States. So that's it for our lesson. I know it's a lot to learn, so go ahead and look at the translation documents in Schoology. This is our lesson. Let's look at our assignment. Okay, my friends, here is our assignment. Social Studies Assignment. Colonists start fighting the British. Decide if the following statements are true or false. The Continental Congress said that the colonists should make their own laws. Number two, in the Boston Massacre, British soldiers killed 100 colonists. True or false? In the Boston Tea Party, the colonists threw boxes of coffee from the ships. You decide, true or false? Number four, July 4th is an important holiday in the United States. And that's it for the assignment. I wanted to make it simple. <clears throat> this is probably your last social studies turn in assignment because next week I'm just going to have you watch a couple of YouTube videos. So um, good luck on your assignments. And if you don't understand something after looking at the translation documents, you can text or email me. And I'm very proud of you if you've been doing your work all this time. See you next time.